Hi, I'm Kevin Anderson from the Grunfoss Technical Institute. We're going to do a demonstration on the procedures for changing the stack on a small CR versions 1 through 5. Let's get started. The instructions for the procedure we're about to do is the small CR versions 1 through 5 dismantling and reassembling service manual. Using a flathead screwdriver, we're going to move the coupling guard screws. Remove the coupling guard. Same on the back. Then we'll remove the hex head coupling bolts from the coupling halves. We'll spin the coupling to get the other side. Next, we'll remove the motor bolts. and we'll lift the motor off the stool. Now to remove the cartridge seal, we want to loosen the three two and a half millimeter hex screws. Make sure that you don't remove them fully because they're very small and they'd be hard to find. Move the shaft pin, then using a 36 millimeter deep well socket, loosen the shaft seal, completely unscrew the shaft seal, and lift it out. The next step is to remove the four 19 millimeter stay bolt nuts and the washers. Then we'll remove the motor stool and set it to the side. Now if this is tight in any way, some light blows from a rubber mallet 
on the bottom will loosen up the motor stool so it can be removed. And set that off to the side. Then remove the old stack kit and make sure you remove the bottom diffuser. We'll set those off to the side. Then we'll grab our new bottom diffuser, place that into the stack, replace our stack, and then make sure that we establish that this guide vane isn't pointing towards either one of the ports when we put the motor stool back on top of the pump. Prior to putting the motor stool back on, we want to make sure that we go ahead and spray some soapy water on the O-ring just so that we don't damage the O-ring when we replace it. We place that back, on, motor stool back on top of the stack. Replace our four washers. And our four 19 millimeter stay bolt nuts. Then we want to tighten down our four 19 millimeter stay bolt nuts according to the torque specifications for the standard CR. And so for the standard CR, that would be 29.5 foot pounds or 40 newton meters. When we tighten those, we want to tighten those in a diagonal pattern just like you would for a car tire. Then next we'll pull out our replacement shaft seal. Inside the shaft seal box we'll have this little tool that we can use to clean off the shaft if the shaft needs uh, to get any debris taken off of there. We'll pull out our new shaft seal. We'll go ahead and spray the o-ring at the top of the shaft seal. We'll press the shaft seal back in place. Then we'll hand tighten that. Then we'll take our 36 millimeter deep well socket. We want to tighten that down to 26 foot pounds or 35 newton meters. And at this time yet, we don't want to tighten the three two and a half millimeter set screws. We'll get to that point at a later stage in the assembly. And next we'll replace our motor back on top of the stool. And we'll reconnect that with the bolts for the motor. Then we'll want to tighten those also in a diagonal pattern according to the specifications in the technical guide. Then next we'll want to go ahead and reinsert the pin in the shaft and replace our two coupling halves. Insert the bolts just to hold the coupling in place. Then using a small screwdriver you want to lift the coupling all the way up and then let it come halfway back down 
before we tighten the coupling halves. And then during the entire stage of reconnecting and torquing the coupling, we want to make sure that this gap on both sides of the coupling stays equal on both sides to prevent any imbalance of the coupling. We want to tighten that down to the specs based on the size of the motor. And now that we got our coupling back in place, we can go ahead and tighten down our set screws according to the specifications in the technical guide. That's at two foot pounds, approximately two and a half newton meters. And our last step is replace our coupling guards. We also want to tighten those down according to the specifications in the technical guide at two foot pounds or approximately two and a half newton meters. We'll replace our rear coupling guard. And we've completed our assembly.